<laughs> but thank you for being on my newsletter. Uh, normally you hear me talking about my schedule, about what's going on in the ministry, what's going on in our personal lives. Uh, one thing I will say is that we are still excited that the new CD, we've done our vocals on the new CD, Jenna's on there with me, <laughs> and so you're going to want to keep in tune to that. Next time I'll be talking to you, I will be talking to you about pre-orders of a new CD where Jenna sings on 8 out of 13 of the tracks. This is big. <laughs> it's going Yay! to go fast. So, um... But anyway, you can read about that in the newsletter. Today, I want to talk to singers, I want to, and, and, or just anybody who doesn't want to get sick or doesn't want to lose their voice. Last week, I lost my voice, and I got sick, and I had to cancel a concert for the fourth time ever in my nine-year career. Four concerts out of all the concerts I do every year, which is quite a bit, mm. is pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> and so... Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, but, but my voice, my speaking voice is completely back. And I actually got most of my singing voice. I could get through a concert tonight if I had to. And <clears throat> so one thing you need to be aware of is, is when you get sick, tea. Tea is a good thing to drink. Not black tea, which is what everybody has. You want green tea, or better than that, actually, is white tea. And I'm talking about hot tea here. And actually, just in the past week, we discovered this. And, and so this is traditional, medicinal something tea. Mm -hmm. I suggest uh, uh, decaffeinated so it doesn't dry, your, your vocal, dry up your vocal cords. But this is Echinacea Plus and uh, Breathe Easy. And they have good nutritious things in here that is good for your body, good for your immune system. It boosts it and it helps you when you're sick. And anything hot is, is, is good. I would stay away from, de from caffeinated drinks. So you can even do, put honey in it. Mm -hmm. uh, get even just hot water and honey, maybe even a little bit of lemon juice to, to cut through if you have a lot of phlegm. But I would be very, 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 very careful of that. Mm -hmm. Stick mostly with the honey. Use the lemon juice a little bit in the pinch if you need to. Um, if you start noticing that you're getting sick, like I should have noticed a couple days before I did get sick, sometimes you can tell it's coming on, immediately, vitamin C. <laughs> now, I will preface that I am not a doctor, so you can talk to your doctor about this, but my doctor says that immediately take 1,500 to 3,000 milligrams immediately, and then a couple hours later, maybe do it again. And then maybe do it again. Mm -hmm. And then as as things progress, you you back off and, and you just do that for for a short period of time during the first day. And that is trying to boost your immune system. Now you do not absorb that much of the vitamins. When you have your daily vitamin, believe it or not, you do not absorb that much of it. And so it's good to do it with food, uh, to help to help absorb it. Um, one thing you can do is you can powder this stuff up. So you can take maybe three of these three of these uh, vitamins and powder them up and then you take one sip out of your water and then you pour the powder into the water and you leave it like that and you shake it up and, you, and it's all dissolved in the water and you let it, it let it circulate in the water and you drink that throughout the day don't drink it all at once drink it through the day the whole point is to try to get as much of this to absorb into your body and boost your immune system as fast as possible so you do not get sick water oh and vitamin that much <clears throat> vitamin C is not an everyday Thing, right? It is not an everyday thing. This is for when you are getting sick. Do not take that many vitamins every day. That is crazy. <laughs> it's bad for you. It's bad for your kidneys. But um, if you are getting sick, vitamin C is a very, very powerful tool to help keep you from getting sick. So if you know what's coming on, if you do this, instead of having to go through this recovery time of a week, sometimes if it's really bad, two weeks, we're talking two days mm -hmm. or four days, two to four days get, get th getting through the bad stuff. Yeah. And so water, most important thing. Now, I can drink a gallon of water easy because I, I'm used to drinking water and people see me drink water during my concerts. If you're, I, I encourage you to drink a gallon of water every day. But if you're sick, you better be drinking a gallon of water. In fact, if you're used to drinking water, you can go to two gallons of water, but I would not go past two gallons of water because in that that gets kind of unhealthy. So, uh, but water is big defense. Now let's get on to the gross stuff. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you have uh, you, good, good to steam. Good to try to get all the gunk mm -hmm. out. Steam. Take hot showers. Uh, of course, drink hot liquids. Um, <clears throat> there's a thing called the neti pot, and I'm not, I'm not going to show it to you. You can Google it. And you can Google how to use it. <laughs> neti pot. N-E-T-I pot. Neti pot. 
but it will it will flush out your sinuses and everything and it's gross to talk about so you can look it up but I'm telling you some people go on the neti pot and they can go off of their allergy medicine completely mm -hmm. like so, me like Jenna so so that's that's something there um, next if you are dealing with things with your with your throat you're dealing with certain things you're trying to you want to keep you keep your voice maybe it's even acid reflux this is hard apple cider vinegar you take one big tablespoon you pour it on under that and then you need to make sure you're around a sink because if you've never done this before you're going to mess up because <laughs> you have to prepare because of the fumes of that it just but you just take it and you down it or if you're a singer and you really want not to stay you really want not to help your throat you gargle it yeah Try as to, best as you can yeah. bypass your teeth bypass your teeth gargle it and then let and then bring it down this helps a ton it is it is good for you it's organic <laughs> uh, anyway another thing you could do now a lot of these will sound familiar is gargling lukewarm water with salt in it mm -hmm. all right now I don't even know how much you're supposed to put in Google that I just do whatever feels right and, and, and gargle it and it will soothe sore throats especially mm -hmm. for sore throats it will soothe it it will help with some of the phlegm and a remedy that is my grandmother's uh, Claudia Bollerjack, this is hers. Baking soda, well, I'm sure it's a lot of grandmothers. Baking soda and water. You take a teaspoon of baking soda, if you can handle it, sometimes I put two, but I wouldn't do much more than that. And I put it in a glass about this size, and I only fill up about this much of water, and I stir it really good. Then I take another glass just like this, and I fill it up all the way with just water. And this is how I do it to get through it. One sip water down it because you want to get it over with and then down this it's pretty gross and you know what when I, I the very first group I sang with the Continental Singers we did 73 concerts in one summer I was the only one in the group I believe I was the only well no I, I probably wasn't the only one but I was one of the few who never missed a concert and, and when I started to feel sick if I started to feel something coming on I would do the baking soda and water and um yeah, that's and the best I never one. I never missed, never missed, never mm -hmm. missed a show. And so there's tons of other things you could do. I'm sure I will post other things that have to do with your voices. But here's a ton of stuff that you could do at home. Trust me, it will help you. It will help you get back to your work, help you get back to your job. Singers, none of this is bad for you. All of this is good for you, um, to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> so I am not a doctor, but my doctor would approve all of this, especially this. Thank you. <laughs>